everyone, Rebecca the Frugal Resinista here. I am really excited about today's project. I am going to try wood burning. I just bought a wood burning kit for $34 at Joanne Fabric, but I waited till they had a 50% off coupon. So I got it for, I think with taxes, 18 something. Um, but anyway, I am going to try for the first time. I've watched a few videos on it and uh, it's not nearly as easy as people make it look because on YouTube if you look it up there are some really good artists but they've been doing it for a long time. <laughs> this is the top of a candle that I got at Big Lots in their clearance section and it's just a piece of wood that's unfinished so I'm going to be using it for my project. I'm also going to be using this design that I printed online. Make sure when you take designs from online that you are being honest and not taking ones that are copyrighted or that people have worked hard on or are trying to sell. This was a free one I got by searching free Celtic knot images. And so what I'm going to do is transfer this design onto the wood and then attempt to wood burn it. And then once I have all the wood burned, we're going to try to fill the part that's burned with resin and stain the rest of this and see if we can get some really cool color. I've seen lots of different ways that people transfer their designs. What I am going to do to make it simple for myself, I'm using a just number two pencil and I am going to color everywhere on the back of this that I plan on drawing. And then we'll flip it over and I'll trace it so that it leaves this lead design on the wood. Now, because I'm using a mechanical pencil, I'm actually just going to use it, but push the lead back in and use the plastic tip of this to trace on the other side so that hopefully it will leave the design on the wood. I have not tried to see if this works or not, so we'll see what happens. But either way, you guys will know so that you can either do it yourself or skip this step if it doesn't work. All right, if you guys have watched me a lot, you know that I am not someone who does a lot of super measuring because I'm too impatient for it. But I am going to try to find the approximate center of this. And I believe this is five inches. So I'm going to find two and a half. And then what I'm going to do is take just a little push pin and stick it right into the center of my design and then stick it to that dot. Now I don't want to push it very far in because I don't want a big hole in my wood. But I'm going to stick it right there and then I'm going to tape this design down. I am using this wood burning kit from Walnut Hollow. It's a basic beginner kit. There are some really cool ones that looks like you can get online but I'm just doing the very basics here and I am going to use their skinnier basic tip. So I'm going to let this heat up and while it's heating, like I said, I'm going to I'm going to trace over this design with my pencil. Now, when you see all these black lines, I'm going to go right on the inside edge of the black lines because I want there to be a space between each part of the knot that the wood does not get burned. So I'm going to do that while this heats up and then I'm going to just start burning. I'm not going to give you guys a bunch of tips on burning because I don't know a lot about it myself. But we'll get all the burning done, I'll speed this up, and then when I'm finished we'll talk about putting resin in it.
couple of thoughts on this first part. I'm really glad I watched a few tutorials because the grain in this wood, the lighter color, is really easy to burn through and the darker is a lot harder. And so I hadn't tried it myself, but I got a good heads up on that and I'm glad I did. That made it a little tricky to burn everything. The next thing I'm going to do is let this cool off and then I'm going to switch the tips to a wide flat tip and burn the whole insides of this so that I have a nice depression in there to pour resin into. Now in general, everything I've watched from people that do wood burning, you don't really burn this deeply because the design itself is all going to be the wood burning and the different levels of it and shading and all of that. But since I want big holes in here that I can pour resin into, I'm going to really burn it deep. So we will let this cool off, switch things out, and then come back to it. That took forever. <laughs> Definitely not something that I was super patient with, but I did get it done. I don't think it would usually take that long, but I burned it really deep so that it would hold resin. So I am going to let this cool off, brush it off a little bit, and then I'm going to add a little bit of stain to the wood before I pour the resin. The reason I'm doing it first is that I'm going to pour all the resin in here, but even with how deeply I burned it, I'm afraid it's a little too shallow. And so I don't want to sand it down and then realize that some of the wood was covered with it and I can't get that stained. So even though once I sand, it'll probably get rid of some of the stain, if any resin stays on top of the wood, that'll stay stained dark. So I have some leftover stain from another project that I think will be a pretty color on this. I'm gonna just add that with a little paintbrush real quick. And then from there, we'll do the resin. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is mix up my resin. I am using Total Boat Fast Hardener because I want to do this project all in one day. I'm going to mix just a tiny little cup of this with some of my green Pearlex pigment powder. And I'm going to try to use, I believe, I believe what I'll do is use a popsicle stick to really drip it right in there so I don't accidentally spill it because even though I plan on doing a light sand over the top of all this to even it out, I'd like to not have to sand too much. So we'll speed it up again.
Okay, I'm actually really excited with how this turned out. I will be 100% honest, I didn't know if this was gonna work at all. <laughs> and it took a long time to burn it and I was getting frustrated, so I'm really excited that there is something to show for it. So I'm gonna let this cure and then I will decide exactly what to do next. I don't know yet if I want to sand it flat or just leave it as is because it's really nice and shiny right now and it didn't leak too much, but we'll see how much it leaks into the wood. The places that I burned, it shouldn't leak too badly because that's all pretty tight now without pores, but I'm not sure what it's going to do to the edges over the top here. So we'll see what happens when it cures and then go from there. Oh my goodness, I am so excited about how this turned out. I was not even sure if it was going to work, and I'm always in awe and honestly a little bit jealous of the people that you see who are carving things into wood and then pouring resin into them, because I just don't have that kind of tools, and even if I did, I don't have anywhere to put them, but this turned out so much better than I had hoped for, for it only being what tools and materials I used. I'm going to put it on the lid here. Now this is a blue candle that I got and I did purposely do green even though the candle is blue. I thought about doing blue to match but I did not do that because my family is from the Shetland Islands in Scotland and I thought it would be cool to do the wood plus the blue of the water and the green of the land. I thought that was a neat little combination there. So. I love it. I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited that it turned out this well. As always, I hope that you all enjoyed my video. I hope you try it yourself more than anything else. And please remember to like and subscribe to my channel and to share it with your friends. And thank you for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful day and I hope that you're inspired to go make some art. Bye!